Hello, Brian Myers from Winning Solutions, Inc. and the Microsoft Access Experts. I've got a new tutorial for you today, and we're going to cover how to relink tables. Um, you, what, what we have here is a database front end and a database back end. If you don't know how to split a database or import access uh, external data tables, go ahead and check out the description below. I put links to previous tutorials we have done on that. But today what we're going to look at is what happens if we move around a database. So I'm going to create a temp folder here. And I'm going to start by opening up my front end here and show you that I have some linked tables here. And if I open up the forms, everything works just fine. But what happens if our data source is moved? So I'm going to put that in the temp folder. And now if I open the database and try to open one of my forms, I can't because it can't find the database. So how do we relink that? So the easiest way to do that is to just right click on any table, go to the link table manager, and select all. I like to click the always prompt for new location <clears throat> and then click OK and now it's going to ask us where that file is. So I'm going to go back to the desktop. Here's the temp folder I created and here's where the data is. So I click open and all selected link tables were successfully refreshed. So we'll go ahead and close out of that and see if we can now open our forms with the data. So that is how you relink linked tables. Uh, if your database moves, then you may need to do that. Um, if you would like to see a tutorial on how to split a database, I'll put a link to that in the description below. We've also covered how to import access external data sources. I'll put a link to that uh, demo as well below. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. We will bring you more videos, and I will put some links to our Twitter and Facebook pages down below if you want to contact us that way. Thank you and have a great day.